Shalom. This video is about Purim. Now, I have another video about Purim in the context of the historicity of the Book of Esther. I have another kind of humorous video about the Purim debate between Purim and, and Hanukkah, the delicacies of Hamantashen versus the Latki. But this one is just about Purim. So first of all, the history. In 586, the Babylonians, today's Iraqis, destroyed the Solomon Temple, and the Jews were exiled to Babylonia. Shortly thereafter, the Persians, today's Iranians, defeated the Babylonians and let the Jews go back and rebuild the temple. But a lot of Jews stayed in that area, and this story of Esther takes place of the, with the Persian-Iranian control of the Jews at that time. And it tells the story of this Persian king named Achashverosh, who, because of an anti-Semitic secretary of state named Haman, uh, agrees to kill all the Jews. Uh, he gets rid of his uh, wife because she wouldn't dance lasciviously in front of he and his drunken buddies. He has a beauty contest. This Jewish girl named um, Hadassah or Esther, both names are used, wins. Her uncle is Mordechai or her cousin, depending on which way you read the story. Mordechai ends up saving the king's life, and he's rewarded. And, uh, of course, because of the king's love for Esther, he decides not to kill all the Jews. And that's the story of, basically the story of uh, Esther. Haman and his sons are killed, and the Jews are saved. Now, we, how do we celebrate it? Well, there are many customs. First of all, they're mostly involving the, the letter M, or Mem in Hebrew. The first is Megillah. There are five scrolls called Megillot in the Book of Writings, in the section of Writings in the Hebrew Bible. Uh, they're read at different holidays. The main Megillah that Jews know, though, is the Megillah of Esther. And it's got its own unique melody, and it's chanted on the night of Purim and in the morning of Purim. And it basically is unread, unfolded like a letter from a case, and you unfold it and you read, chanting it in this traditional melody. So that is the Megillah. Now, another mem, and this is all based on one of the verses in uh, the book of Esther. Another M is Mishlo Achmano, which means to give gifts. And the custom is to prepare little bags of goodies with a, at least a couple of things in them and give them as gifts to your friends. A third M is Matanot Lavionim, which means gifts to the poor. It's customary to give tzedakah on the holiday of Purim. A fourth M is the meal. Uh, it's customary to have a Sudat Purim, a festive meal. And it's one time a year when you could take liberties and you could roast people and have fun. Not roast people literally, but uh, make fun of people. Yeshiva students would make fun of their rabbis that one day a year. There's also a custom of drinking a little too much. The Talmud calls it Od Lo Yada, or Od Lo Yada, which means if you, still you wouldn't know. And they said drink so much that you wouldn't tell the difference between if I said to you Mordechai, the Jewish hero, or Haman, the evil guy. Now today we say don't drink like that, but it is a time of great festivity. It's kind of like the Jewish Mardi Gras. In fact, it's in the middle of the month of Adar, or the month of spring. And so it became kind of a Mardi Gras. In fact, it's the one time a year when Jews would dress up ritually, wear costumes. Kind of fun to wear all kinds of costumes, and I always dress up in different costumes and encourage adults as well as kids to dress up. And customarily they would wear co costumes like kings and queens, like Achashverosh and, and Esther, but now they wear all kinds of costumes. Uh, another one, a custom, one of the main food items, as you know from that debate I did of the Laki versus the Hamantaschen, is a delicacy called a Hamantaschen, which is really kind of a doughy dessert with some good stuff inside, prune or apple, whatever, and it's shaped like a three-cornered hat, to be like Haman's hat or Haman's ears. Oznei Haman, they call it in Hebrew, the ears of Haman. And there's some special prayers we recite on Purim when we recite the Grace After Meals and when we pray uh, about the heroism and the miracle. Now, it's interesting that God's name never occurs in the book of Esther, it got referred to obliquely when Mordechai says, Esther will get some help from Hamakom, the place. Uh, but it is read ritually in the synagogue with blessings before and after. Now, I also put some songs on my blog at www.rabbireflex.blogspot.com, and it'll appear right below this video there if you want to uh, learn, see the words there. I'm going to sing some songs now for Purim that I have the words there, and then I'm, if I have time, I'll sing a couple other songs. First song on there is Chag Purim, Chag Purim, Chag Gadol Hu Lai Hu Dim, Masecha Rashanim, Zmirot Varikudim, Havana Risha, Rush, Rush, Rush. Now, what you do is you make a, a gragger. You have a gragger like this, or a gragger like this, a noisemaker. There's also some kind of um, fancy one. 
And whenever you say the evil named Haman, you twist your saga like that, the noisemaker. And that's what the rush is. Havanarisha, rush, rush, rush. Havanarisha, rush, rush, rush. Havanarisha, rush, rush, rush. Ba'a, rush, anim. The holiday of Purim is a great one for Jews. Masks, groggers, songs, and dances. Come, let us make noise with our groggers. Now, here's another Purim tune. Utsu eats of the far. Dabru davar vilo yakum. Utsu eats of it too far. Dabru davar vilo yakum ki imanu el. Utsu eats of it too far. Dabru davar vilo yakum ki imanu el. Form your plot, it shall fail. Lay your plan, it shall not prevail, for God is with us. Here's another folk tune of Anipurim. Anipurim, Anipurim, Sameach, Umvadeach, Halorak, Pa'am, Bashana, Avolehit, Areach, La, 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 my name is Purim, and I come great fun and frolic, bringing just once a year I visit you to cheer you with my singing, la, la, la. And there's another folk tune. Oh, once there was a wicked, wicked man, and Haman was his name, sir. He lied and lied about the Jews, though they were not to blame, sir. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be, oh, today will Mary, Mary be, oh, today will Mary, Mary be, and not some hum and tosh and... And Esther was a lovely queen of King Ahasuerus. When Haman said he'd hurt us all, oh my, how he did scare us! Oh, today will Mary Mary be? Oh, today will Mary Mary be? Oh, today will Mary Mary be? And not some hum and tosh. And, and then, if you see the words, it follows that song. Now, then we play this little game. Um, you wear you uh, call Kolva Sheli, and you keep every time you do the song, you reduce one word. So the words are a Kolva Sheli. My, th my hat, Shalosh Pinot, has three corners. Hakova Shali, Shalosh Pinot, Shalosh Pinot, Hakova Shali. Um, the Lo Hayulu, Shalosh Pinot, Lo Hayaze, Hakova Shali. If it didn't have three corners, it wouldn't be my hat. So it goes like this. Hakova Shali, Shalosh Pinot, and you point your elbow. Shalosh Pinot, Hakova Shali. Lo ha you lo shalosh pinot lo ha ya zeh kova shali. The next time you go ha hm shali shalosh p and you keep doing it and then when have somebody misses and they say the word they're out. My hat has three corners. And then there's a kind of a funny one with a southern tune. Esther, won't you marry me? Oh, Esther, won't you marry me? Oh, Esther, won't you marry me? Oh, Esther, won't you marry me? And then there's lots of other fun songs like, In a time so long ago, there was a man who was our foe. He tried to kill us all, but in the end he did fall. We all live cause Esther was so brave, and Mordechai did save his people from the grave. We all live cause Esther was so brave. Mordechai did save his people from the grave. And now, I didn't put that song down, but um, if you Google We All Live, obviously this is the Yellow Submarine, you can do it. All right, so those are some of the Purim songs and some of the Purim traditions. Have a merry Purim.